In today's video, we're going to be talking specifically about how your teeth actually move or straighten during orthodontic treatment. So you might be wondering the exact mechanism which takes place. When you're looking in your mouth, you can see your teeth, but there's actually more to the actual tooth structure than what you can see. That's because the teeth have roots, which is what holds them into the bone. Kind of like how a tree is supported in the ground. It's got roots in the soil and that's what holds the tree in position. The teeth are kind of the same. The teeth in the front of the mouth usually have one root, but the molars at the back of the mouth can have two if they're on the lower jaw or three if they're in the upper jaw. So the teeth are supported by the bone but sometimes they can grow and erupt in the mouth in the wrong positions. And there's a large number of reasons for that to happen whether it's due to genetics, the size of your jaw bones meaning there's too much or too little space in your mouth, it could be due to trauma or bad habits during childhood which is what changes the structure of your jaw. Either way, the purpose of orthodontic treatment is to straighten your teeth. Orthodontic treatment involves putting a small amount of force on your teeth over a period of time, so we eventually see a shift in the position of your teeth. The roots of the teeth have these attachments on them called the periodontal ligament, and that's what keeps the tooth attached to the bone. If pressure is applied in one direction on the tooth, it's unable to move immediately because the bone is in the way. It may move very, very slightly just because of the natural leeway this periodontal ligament gives, but you're not going to be able to move the tooth to a new position just by pressing the tooth a little bit because it's mostly well supported by the bone. However, if you maintain that pressure for a period of time, the bone on the opposite side of the tooth starts to break down. The types of cells which break down the bone are called osteoclasts. Now, over a period of time, the tooth is able to move into that new position and the area of the bone where the tooth moved from gets filled up with newly created bone, which is deposited by cells called osteoblasts. The mechanism by which braces work is by having these metal brackets fixed onto the center of your teeth and a wire is passed through them. Because your teeth are in different positions, the brackets on your teeth aren't aligned. So when the tight wire is fixed through, there's tension which is created for the wire to straighten back into its normal position, which naturally puts pressure on your teeth to move in the same direction and therefore straighten. This is done slowly over a period of time because if it's done too quickly there's a high risk that your teeth will just become loose and there's a high risk of them either becoming painful or falling out. Invisalign and clear aligners work a little bit differently. So your bite and teeth are usually digitally scanned and a computer program works out how to straighten your teeth in stages. Each stage involves a very slight change in the position of your teeth and you get a new set of clear trays to wear. If you're wearing them properly and for the right amount of time, your teeth will shift in position due to the tightness of each tray, which is incrementally moving your teeth into the correct ideal position, which has been designed by this software. If your teeth only need to be straightened slightly, then only a few sets of these trays are needed.